Imagine this, you have a lot of video storage on your device and you would like to search for that specific scene that you are looking for. So I built it's mine, which is an open source video indexer that will help you index your video and how it goes almost viral over Reddit and GitHub. So you can do something like this, go to the prompt and prompt the engine to get all the scene where someone said the word AI. So in the season two of my podcast, I had a lot of people covering the topic of AI and I got something like this as a video compilation. When we have an AI that is trained on Kramer. Bye doing with AI I don't think it means here's how you can be an AI engineer AI, like why is this this way and which the AI model cannot like give you a good answer for it the model is just an assistant you lean into using AI when you're coding this one was a pretty funny use case for it is mine but you can do more than that but before that I would like to give you the full story of it is mine progress and how it goes almost viral over Reddit and GitHub so first of all, I had an issue with, I have over two terabytes of video footage, as I mentioned before, and I couldn't find the video that I'm looking for. So I tried the finder and you need to have the video date or the video file name, but I couldn't remember that exactly. So I was trying to be able to search for an API that will help you with doing frame analysis and transcription so I, so I can easily search over video. So I tried Google Intelligence Video API, which was expensive to run. So it's almost will be costing me almost $1 per one minute after you will consume 1000 free minutes that the API offer you. So it wasn't a good alternative for my use case because it will be expensive to run. And the second thing, I need to upload my personal video to the cloud in order to process the video for frame analysis. I don't want to do that. I want everything to run locally and I don't want to upload my personal video to the cloud. So I decide to build this project as a personal product which will be doing transcription, frame analysis and embedding so later on I can easily search for that. So currently the system is using OpenAI Whisper local model to be able to do the transcription. The second thing, frame analysis. So I built a Python script that will be doing frame analysis with a plugin architecture so you can easily add new plugin to the system so you can do for example activity detection environment detection emotion detection face recognition object detection text detection over the image using OCR and you can extend the functionality of this Python script by adding new plugin to the system and after I got the system working on my end I decide to make it open source so other people might have the same issue as mine and use it on their own desktop so I decide to make the github repo open to the public and I post it over hacker news nothing happened I only got two points over hacker news but over a Sunday morning, it was like a two days after I make it open source, I decide to post it over Reddit to be able to pass the Reddit test. So I post it, I go for a long nap. It was one hour, a half, two hours. And I wake up and it's already gotten 100 upvotes and a lot of comments that are suggesting new features and people are loving this product and they would like to have a Docker support so they can run it over their own server without the need to have a desktop application. And also the other requested feature was image support. So you can easily pull all the faces from image so we can use them for face labeling for the video that you have as well. So you ask for it, I work on it and I deliver. So currently it is mine have a support for Docker. So you can just run Docker Compose app and it will give you the Docker container that you can run over your server. But it's currently still in alpha version. So you will have a branch that you can use to be able to get this Docker set up. And after that, we will have the image support so you can just provide us your image host endpoint and the API key that you can create an image settings page with the requested permission that we need and we just be pulling all the faces with their name to be able to help them with indexing and face labeling your video as well. So currently enough talking about the feature and what will be offering it is mine so I will go to the screen and I will show you what you will get when you run the docker container. So this will be the GitHub repo. So you can just go to the branch where we have Docker and you can just follow up the setup here and you just copy the env.example to be able to set up the env.system at .env and after that, your env file will be looking something like this. We have all the system, we have the database URL, the Redis, the Chroma DB, the Python script, all the internal storage and the face recognition, the model cache and other stuff that we'll be using. And here we have the NV where you can toggle between using local model or using Gemini. You can just set up gemini.api.key and you have the encryption key, the host media path. This one is critical. This is where 
will be searching and getting a media folder from. So you can just set up, for example, I am on Mac, you got, it will be slash user slash idea slash download from my download folder. And here will be the search AI model, the local one, if I would like to use local model instead of Gemini for NLP for natural language processing. So currently everything is set up. I can just go here and uh, cd to docker and run this command docker-build so it will be building up all the image and you can just go here to the docker desktop go to the settings go to resources file sharing make sure to share the slash user slash alias slash download folder so the docker container will be having access to so you can just i will just go back here I will be just waiting for the docker to be built. After building it will be giving us all the script that we need and it will be looking something like this. Here we have it is mine background job for background job handler for example indexing the video we have chroma db for the vector database we have postgres for the, the web application for example for user and folder model we have redis to be able to set up the cache and we have it is mine which will be the web interface so we can just go to this one and here we have the inboarding process. So you can just click on continue, continue, and get started. Currently we have only the login screen. So you can just use the default login credential, which will be admin.example.com and the password will be admin. And because I already have data in my vector database, it will be loading the vector database up. So this will be all the data that we have. You can just go back to the other container, which will be edit mine background drop and here we have all the background drop right now all the queue we have the video indexer face matcher image importer video searcher here in review that will be a bonus feature if you would like to stick around until the end so i will go back to the dashboard i will go to the search functionality for example i would like to search all video where my friend ahmed is showing up so currently this is ahmed azabi and uh, we have the video here so currently maybe also we can do for alias let's do for example he's my name and currently it will be given all the scene where alias is mentioned i will do something like west boss for example i'm not sure if this one will be working or not it doesn't so it doesn't show me like accurate because i have a podcast episode with west boss but it doesn't show up the search from is still in progress so we'll be working on that to be to be able to improve the search accuracy for desktop so this is one of the things that we'll be working on and we can go to the prompt feature where we show up in the first section of the video where we are uh, combining the search where uh, the word ai is mentioned i will go to here and i will go search let's go give me let's do like a give me total of video that i have so there is two type of like a response it will be either like a, a response with scene or just a normal text as you can see right now we have a total of 30 video in my library this video contain impressive 500 individual scene so currently this is how much token has been used currently i'm using gemini for this demo you can switch to use local model if you want okay give me all scene where Elias is found. Okay, it does found the 10 scene. So I can just select, for example, this scene and click on stitch the scene. So there's an issue creating the scene. Okay, let's go. And this one has been completed. So currently you can just download the video, nothing else. But later on you can have the option where you can integrate it with your favorite editor, for example, Final Cut Pro or other Premiere Pro. So you can have the option to be able to get uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro product that you can use to be able to continue the editing so it will be just give you the scene that you need for the edit and later on you can just go to the editor and 
do the final adjustment. This is just a preview of what will be the shot feature in uh, edit mine. I will go to the setting, which is the most important part. As you remember, we, we said the host media path to be slash user slash ELS slash download. I can just go here, add folder. This is all the folder that I have in my download folder. I can just select one of them and it will automatically scan the video. So currently the process has been started. So it will be starting to transcribe the video, do frame analysis, create the scene and embed it. You can follow that in the video indexing. So currently we have the video here and I set up here the watcher. So this is the test video folder in my download. I can just go to here and I can just grab one of the video and I can just drop it here and it will automatically add it here. So this one, it just been added right now. And this is the one that I just copied. So it will automatically be watching your folder that you set up here to be able to do the frame analysis. As you can see right now, we are analyzing the frame. And after that, the second part will be to create in the scene and embed it using chroma db so i can just go back here to the settings i can go to the image import here you have to connect with the, your image to be able to import the faces with their label so it can will be used to be able to recognize the faces so we can know that this one is Elias, for example and this one is ahmed so you can just enter your image api key so you can just go to your image account and go to the settings page and you will have the option to be able to create an api key just make sure that you have all the required API scope and enter the API key and the host. If you are running image in the same container as edit mine, so you can just leave this one along and just paste the API key and we'll be starting the import and you can see the job here in the face matter. So currently we cover the video indexer, the, the image importer, the face matter for example, if I go to the labels, I will go to the face training for example I will go to this one and this one I will be labeled it to Scott let's go for example so currently it will be labeled this one as Scott so it's, later on I can easily identify this one as Scott and I can just go to the face matcher where it will be starting to be able to look up for all the similar unknown faces and it will be comparing if it's similar to the reference image and it will be updating instead of going all through all the image and selecting them by one by one so currently this one is still having some issue with the memory i'm working on that to be able to fix it so just keep that in mind so currently this will be the face labeling let's go to the dashboard and let's go to the one what was really interesting is having access to resources uh, you know to look up So currently this will be the video so you can have the option to be able to update aspect ratio if you would like to so currently we'll have uh, this scene so you can just go uh, for example switch to the scene that you are looking for and this will be the scene text so this one will have all the information about the scene that we are using for semantic search so currently for example this one is unknown and unknown it's not been uh, like a label yet but you can toggle between the faces, recall is the first objects, one, the first texts time I connected. that has been uh, detected if you would like to. So currently we'll be giving just an overview of all the scene that we have captured and indexed. So currently we cover the Docker support that we have right now. We cover the image support and the setup to be able to add your folder so you can start indexing your video. This process is resource intensive and storage for the AI model if you would like to use local model. We don't store the video, we are just linking to the actual original video. So the video will be stayed in the original media folder. So we are just getting the data directly from there. And one last thing, because it's currently December and during this time of year, we are seeing something like a Spotify wrapped or a year in review type of video. I make something similar to video. This is just an experiment. If you would like to see it, you can just go to one of the branch where we have this experiment. This will be it. So it will be something like this.
like a day of the week. Tuesday was my power day. Color temperature, semantic mood board, creative DNA, vibe score. The most used word is code, product, app, community, react, build, thanks, awesome, exactly, and Shopify. The snapshot of the year. And the closing scene. And we have share story where you can just click on download the video. It will be something like this. So this one has been generated using Remotion. So we have a prompt where we are feeding the AI model we've seen from the current year and we are making them to be able to give us a year in review JSON that we can use to be able to create something like this. And so when I'm like, if I have the challenge or urge to build something, so that's the kind of coding I think uh, is a term that was. So this one which will be Spotify app liked for video, something like this was a fun thing to add to this product to make it more fun. And there's a lot of use case that you can use in this mind for. So currently all of this is seen in alpha version. So we will be expecting some bugs and some issue in the product. And the best way to be able to report that, just go here and go to the GitHub repo and go to the issue and open up a new issue. So we can create and know more about the issue that you have. If you have time, create a PR that will be great to be able to improve the process and the experience for everyone. So that's it and let's go back to the video. But before ending this video, I would like to thank all the people that are supporting the products from Reddit, from GitHub, from Twitter as well, and especially the self-hosted Reddit community which gave me a lot of support to this product and a lot of great feedback that we'll be using to be able to contribute to the evolution of this product and also you are free to make a PR, a GitHub issue to be able to contribute and to make this product better for everyone. This project is right now open source so everyone is welcome to contribute and this product is no longer my personal product is a product for the community that would like to contribute to it and make it a great experience for everyone. So thank you so much and see you on the next video.